Yo, what's going on guys, it's Bait. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're talking about five habits to avoid in order to live a more fulfilling life. Now, some of these are probably ones that you've heard before, but I'm gonna go in depth and talk about my experience with them as well. So let's jump right into it. Thing number one, porn and masturbation. I'm gonna put these two together in one category because they pretty much go hand in hand for most guys. And truthfully, while I believe that porn and masturbation um, if they're separate, it's less damaging. Like, porn is its own demon in and of itself, and it's definitely, at least psychologically, significantly more damaging than masturbation. However, I also, I think that masturbation in and of itself is just a, a low-value habit, and it's very degrading to yourself. Um, and I think that it overall conditions your mind um, and builds you know, habits and routines and rituals into your head that just aren't great for your self-development or self-esteem as a man. And to be honest with you, like, it's taken me a long time to realize it, um, because when I was, you know, younger in high school, whatever, like, yeah, porn and masturbation, like, for most guys is probably, like, it was something I didn't really think too much about, but as I've grown and matured, and also kind of, um, through my like spiritual slash religious you know connection to powers that be whatever kind of just realized like yo there's so much more powerful things that I could be doing with my sexual energy and on top of that if I want to have respect from others and if I want to feel valuable if I want to have confidence I need to respect myself and for me withstanding from porn and masturbation is a way that you can respect yourself you know what I mean I don't need to go through the reasons why porn and masturbation are damaging and why they're bad for you. I've got other videos on the channel for that. Um, just click on my videos and go back a little bit. It was one of the first videos I uploaded. I went in depth about all of the reasons why porn is literally destroying you as a man. So without getting too deep into it, because otherwise this video would just be you know, an, an hour long. But yeah, porn and masturbation, if you want to live a more fulfilled life, having some respect for your sexual energy is something that is absolutely going to unlock that. And if you can retain your sexual essence and your energy and apply that towards the things that you actually want out of life, whether it be building up your body, your career, you know, focusing on going to the gym, doing whatever it is you want to do, right? Your, your education, going to school, focusing it on your academics, whatever it is, that you apply that energy and that essence to, you will undoubtedly make rapid progress um, quicker than you would ever really think or imagine. And tapping into that energy is one of the biggest things that has allowed me to kind of catapult my life forward and make a lot of very rapid progress and change where I felt stagnant before. So number one, porn and masturbation. Cut that out in its entirety. If not, at least ditch the porn first. If you have to fucking jerk off, bro, whatever, you're still a fucking loser, but at the end of the day, like, it, just don't watch porn, bro. That shit has its own psychological, chemical shit that's happening in your brain. Absolute dog shit. Just don't do it, bro. If you want to live a fulfilled life, just cut the porn first, at least, at the bare minimum. So, number two, we'll talk about smoking, right? Now, if you're smoking weed, definitely got to stop that. I, you know, coming from a huge fucking stoner, bro. Like, I wish, I mean, I could put the videos out to, to prove it, but I don't feel like doing that to myself. But just know that coming from someone that smoked a fuck ton of weed, like to put it in perspective, for probably two to three years of my life, I was probably high for more hours of the day than I wasn't. So this is not coming from some fucking square that's like, oh, don't smoke weed, don't do this, don't do that. Nah, bro, I smoked weed, I did drugs, I did all the shit. And I'm telling you now, looking back on it, that it was a huge waste of time, a huge waste of money. The habits that were formed as a result of it and also some of the psychological damage that it did that I had to undo and work through later on in life just simply wasn't worth it. Now, here's the thing, right? Category number three is drugs and alcohol, and I was gonna save that and get into it, but we'll kind of talk about both of these things simultaneously. Smoking and doing drugs and alcohol, extracurricular shit, you know, fucking shrooms, acid, molly, coke, whatever the fuck. Now, I can sit here and preach to you and tell you, don't do drugs, don't smoke weed, don't do this shit, don't drink, 
but you're gonna do it anyways because if you're watching this and you're like a little bit younger 17 18 whatever you're curious you want to fucking explore, you've got this freedom, maybe you're in high school, maybe you're about to graduate, you know, you've got your fucking driver's license, you've got a little bit of money, you're working a job, you want to fucking experiment with all this shit and go do dumb shit with your friends, whatever, I get it, I was there at one point too, and I'm not going to be like every other fucking person or every other adult in my life that tried to like steer me away from that shit and just give me this hard, don't do it because I told, not, told you not to, whatever fucking bullshit bro, do drugs, whatever, experiment with it, you know what I mean, get it out of your fucking system, so you're not tempted to do it later in life, when you actually have real priorities and real shit going on, but just don't make it a habit, bro, don't fuck around and get addicted to shit, and it's really like, depending on your personality, it's like playing with fire, I know for me, and I've said this in other videos too, like, bro, I have a very addictive personality, so for me to just like dabble with drugs or experiment with shit can be very dangerous. It's literally like me fucking playing with a box of matches. It's just doesn't jive well for me because I get fucking hooked on shit super easy, bro. I love fucking feeling good. I like the dopamine. I like, you know, tapping into other shit. So I'd be extremely hypocritical to tell you not to do drugs as someone that's done drugs. But at the same time, it's like, you know, don't, I don't recommend it, get it out of your system, fuck around with it once or twice, whatever, get the experience, scratch the itch, that way you know it, you did it, you don't feel like you're fucking missing out on anything, but if you let it become a habit, if you let it become a lifestyle, and this is what I was really going to say about the drugs and alcohol component of it too, smoking is just habit forming, damages your health, and it's a huge money suck, like, if you're smoking weed, if you're smoking cigarettes, if you're smoking vapes, the vapes are fucking junk too, look up how vapes are made, bros are like fucking a dollar worth of Chinese fucking plastic and chemicals you're smoking, that shit's ass, but the the smoking is extremely habit forming, it's gonna drain your finances, cause you're fuck. it's, you gotta re-up every fucking week, month, whatever, the drugs and alcohol is more just like, it, it opens, it's the gateway to fucking you know, the abyss, right, it really is, and not only that, but it's a huge waste of time, and once you start getting into slightly harder shit beyond, like, just weed and, you know, cigarettes, whatever, alcohol is kind of, like, on the verge of that, because you can end up in some pretty fucking weird situations when it comes to alcohol, but just because of the nature of the fucking scene, but bro, once you start getting into other drugs like that, you start to expose yourself to a whole other risk, which is just, like, the people and the vibe and the environments that you have to go to, that you have to be connected with to get these things, and bro, it just, it can lead you down a very dark and one-way route pretty quickly, so just be responsible, be extremely careful, and definitely don't do fucking shit like heroin or opiates or oxycotton, fucking extremely addictive, like, with there's a risk of overdose, don't do that fucking shit, bro, so drugs are not like they used to be in the fucking 80s when everything you could buy was pure and uncut i would say that it's damn near impossible depending on where you're at to like know for certain without getting test kits and all this other shit if you're gonna do drugs and know that they're clean so it's just not even worth the risk i've had too many people around me you know have fucked up shit happen to them or people that they know and you know you know, friends of family members and people dying and overdosing, it's just not, it fucking ruins families, bro, it's sad, it's fucking disgusting, like, you know, it just ruins you, so don't do fucking drugs, bro, it's a waste of time. Thing number four, just to recap, we talked about porn and masturbation, and the last thing we just talked about was drugs, alcohol, and smoking, weed, cigarettes, whatever. Number four, video games. Now, this is one that was hard for me as well, um, out of all of them <clears throat> that we've talked about so far, Porn and video games are by far probably the most difficult, in my opinion. Drugs, all it takes is one negative experience or one bad thing happens, which sucks because usually when it's bad, it's really bad. But you have one bad trip, you have one friend that gets in trouble, you have one friend, and like, you're like, all right, yeah, this is not worth it. You realize pretty quick, or you start to feel like shit, your brain's fucked up, you're, you know, it, drugs, if you have a reasonable, if you have a logical head on your shoulders, if you're fucking grounded in any little bit, after enough time, drugs show themselves to you and you very quickly realize that they're not worth it. Porn and masturbation, 
and video games are ones that are a lot trickier because there maybe isn't so much direct feedback as far as the things that they're causing damage to in your life. They can fly under the radar for a really long time and you won't even realize all the ways that they're fucking you up until it's too late. So video games is, is tricky because video games are, are playing on and are hijacking a fundamental and core system within your brain, your dopamine system and your reward system. And also the reason why so many people are addicted to video games is because when you play a video game, you have a mission, there's a purpose, there's an objective, you know, there's tasks to complete, there's rewards, there's missions, right? And in a world where so many men and so many people feel completely lost to play a video game where you're given directions and told what to do and then you get achievements and skins and you know new guns and unlocked shit and uh, medals and achievements bro literally think about all of the words that they're that are being used medals <clears throat> achievements leveling up you know in-game currency skins like all this shit bro all of the, the words all of the things that you are unlocking in your video game is actually just the shit that you want in real life, bro. You want achievement, you want prestige, you want medals, you want money, you want fucking cool shit, right? So most guys are incapable of getting that shit in real life, so they escape through video games. And then the psychology of video games that keep you fucking wrapped in it, they can also be a money suck. Video games are getting extremely good at monetizing their fan bases and their audience, right? The battle passes, the season passes, the loot boxes, all of this shit, like, bro, they are rinsing you. It's hard to play video games and not want to spend money on that shit so you can have the cool items, so you can have the cool skins and shit, so you can level up a little faster, bro. Trust me, I've been fucking in that hole, bro. Like, I've been there. I had fucking, like, tw almost 2,000 hours on CSGO when I was in high school, bro. Like, I've been down all of these roads and I'm telling you this from someone and I'm being honest with you, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I just am some perfect fucking individual that never did any of this shit, right? I'm telling you straight up, bro, I've, I've been down these roads, I've, I've had these things, I've learned these lessons and I'm just spitting it to you so that hopefully, you know, you can take it with a grain of salt but also, you know, know that I'm not just trying to sit here and fucking preach. I'm genuinely trying to uplift you and steer you away from the pitfalls that have affected my life, right? So that's my TED talk on video games. The next thing, and this, I guess we'll tie this back into the first one. This is a bonus one, is meaningless sex and interactions with people that you have no plans on having a long-term relationship with. This is another one of those things where like drugs, you might just have to get it the fuck out of your system try it once or twice to know that you're not missing out you're not fucking you know it's nothing special and you get the feeling you get the gratification you get the validation and then it's done and it's a fucking waste of time and you're like what the fuck did i just fuck this random bitch for do it fucking get it out of your system bro be a g fucking you know smash and dash but don't do that don't make a habit out of that because bro you're you're degrading yourself you know what i mean you're you're taking away from your own uh essence your own productivity your own value you know what i mean i like quality over quantity and also think about anything that's valuable right if you look at stocks if you look at businesses if you look at products it's all about supply and demand you know what i mean if you're a high value guy if you're if you're someone that holds yourself with a certain standard you got to have that standard for women too if you want to be seen as different bro you can't be out here just giving it up for any old bitch because then any old bitch knows that she has access to you and you're nothing special anymore, right? So be careful how you dilute yourself when it comes to who you have sex with, but also who you hang out with, right? Don't be around fucking bums, dude. This is the last thing. The people that you are around are 110% going to affect your life. And again, this is another one where in ways where you can't even see. Now I could take this in so many different routes, but for one, they're going to influence you. For two, on a spiritual level, they can actually hinder your success because here's the thing, nobody wants you to be more successful than them and they might cheer you on and they might congratulate you and they might encourage you and support you to your face, but behind closed doors, they actually have the power to wish negative things onto you. So if you are on and around people that are stuck in life, they are gonna help keep you stuck 
because of their mindset, because of their belief systems. And it's very hard to break free from that environment when you are surrounded by it. And if you're trying to elevate either, it's like chains that are just holding you down and holding you back. So anyways, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, you're a real one. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We're coming at you with more self-improvement content very, very soon. Again, stay strong, stay blessed, stay dangerous. I love y'all boys. If you like this video, if this resonated with you, I'll put one on the screen right here that I think you'd also like. I'll catch you in the next one. If you need help accelerating your self-improvement journey, check out the link in the description. It'll take you to my website. I got a bunch of resources on there, supplements, books that I've read, all the things that have helped me accelerate my self-improvement journey and become who I am today, all right? So with all that being said, love you guys. Stay strong, stay blessed, stay dangerous. I'll catch you in the next one, all right? Peace, love y'all.